Welcome back everybody. Just to add to my um, video that I put up yesterday with some BMWs and I actually managed to pick up a couple more um, BMWs tonight. Both the same model but just in two different um, colour schemes. Uh, this is the BMW M4. Uh, the one you're looking at is the safety car from the Gran Turismo series. Um, I've actually got um, another one of these uh, on the card, but this one had a damaged card. So I picked it up and uh, just uh, thought I would um, show you uh, just a couple of differences um, that probably irked me a little bit. Um, and I don't understand why um, Hot Wheels don't um, be a bit more consistent. But um, just to show you, so this is the Gran Turismo M4. Uh, very nice car, nice colour scheme in white with the you know the safety decals on it, the safety car tempos. It's got the Gran Turismo um, logo on there, and obviously the um, the BMW Motorsport colours. And that's a pretty cool looking car. There's no doubt about it. It's a really nice looking casting. So that's the Gran Turismo, which is part of an eight car set. Um, and normally, when you get cars that are part of a set you would expect that maybe they would um, do a little bit more work to them. Um, but so sometimes just the extra decals or the extra tempos on them, I don't know what it is, but they don't seem to go the whole hog um, in terms of um, how they um, finish the car off. Uh, by comparison, this next car is a, um, a BMW M4 as well, but it's a mainline car. And I'll show you the difference. You can have a wee look there. And the difference, I mean, that's a mainline car, which is actually cheaper than the Gran Turismo one. But that's got um, full decals on it, full headlight detail, uh, full BMW badge on the front. Uh, nice colour scheme in the dark uh, royal metallic blue, but on the back, full taillight detail. Um, with the motorsport and the um, the BMW badges, and if you actually put these under a magnifying glass, that BMW badge is actual is actually an exact replica of the badge. Um, I put my big uh, magnifying glass on it today, uh, and uh, it's amazing. It's actually uh, it's so tiny, but um, everything's there. Uh, the blue and the white propellers with the BMW letters on the top. So that's, uh, I just thought I'd bring you that just to show you um, uh, the differences between models um, or, you know, ranges, I suppose you could say. One's a mainline car that you're looking at now, and the first one was part of an eight car set. And really what I think Hot Wheels should be doing uh, is to be making sure that if they're putting out an eight car set and uh, charging a little bit more for them, then maybe they should be finished off with the same level of detail as this mainline car here uh, with headlights and taillight detail and stuff like that. So that's just a small addition. Um, not having too much of a whinge and a moan about Hot Wheels because I do like their cars, but um, just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Uh, like your thoughts and comments surrounding that one, but hey, um, it is what it is. So uh, we love collecting these little cars and sometimes these are the little things that... Um, can annoy us but uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I will be putting up a video soon on all my bone shakers so um, enjoy the video and like and subscribe if you could that'll be great um, any comments I'm more than happy to answer any questions and have a great evening guys and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one cheers